Have you ever thought about your faith being a living, growing thing? Did you know that there's a destination for your faith? Well, join me today with my guest, Pastor Gladys Hart and uh, Sister Fayra Ketty. They're going to be joining me in a study today on the mustard seed. Now, I'm sure we've all, you've heard of, you know, the children's teaching you know, growing up in Sunday school about the mustard seed. But, you know, God was just really been dealing on my heart because uh, a lot of people are losing faith today. Right. Uh, you know, and their faith, it doesn't take much for them to waver, does it? So today all. we want to uh, study on this, and I, I believe it's a powerful study. It's not just for children anymore, is it, right. Pastor uh, Gladys? So today I'm going to begin with you. Uh, has the Lord showed you uh, what, what the Lord has showed you in dealing about the mustard seed faith? The mustard seed, uh, Deborah, is very interesting. Mm -hmm. Of course, we all know it's the smallest of seed. The characteristic of the mustard seed is it will not mix with any other seed. Oh, wow. So to have a faith that will not mix with doubt. That is good. Faith that will not mix with fear or unbelief mm -hmm. or any other big question mark, you know. But I learned also that mustard, there's one thing about the mustard seed and another thing about the mustard plant itself. I read where that mustard plant uh, in the Greek translation, means uh, pain and irritation. Wow. Mm -hmm. So sometimes uh, when we're having to walk by faith, we do have to deal with uh, pain. Mm -hmm. In fact, sometimes uh, the more faith we need, the greater the pain mm -hmm. is to walk through that faith walk. Mm -hmm. But uh, faith produces what? Medicine cannot produce. That's right. Amen. Amen. Uh, doctors cannot produce it. <laughs> That's right. That's true. Lawyers cannot produce it. Uh, only God Amen. can work that stature of faith in us. Amen. Several years back, I was praying, and the Lord spoke the strangest thing to me, and I thought, God, that can't be you. He said this. He said, have faith beyond your faith. Wow. That means my faith can have its limit. Mm -hmm. My faith can run into something it can't deal with. Mm -hmm. But God's faith can bypass, go through, under, over, whatever, Praise any God. obstacle that is in my path. Amen. To amen. me, that is real faith. Yes, amen. amen. And Sister Faith? Well, in hearing her say that, it... I, I just got the revelation of it. If you start your faith, then God's going to increase it. Right. It just takes one little bit of faith. You look at that little teeny tiny seed, and I'm so amazed at how mm -hmm. it can grow. I, my notes said I looked it up, and it can grow as high <coughs> as 12 feet tall. Mm -hmm. They used to be trees. Yes. And I remember uh, as a child and spending my summers on the farm in East Tennessee with my grandmother, and as soon as we stepped into the garden, <coughs> as you entered, there was this mustard seed bush, wow. and it kept growing. And she would just trim it back but it kept growing and growing. And I will never forget that. And when she showed us the seed that it come from, mm -hmm. I've never forgotten mm -hmm. how small. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter how small. When God is in it, it becomes enormous. Right. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And, and like she said, you know, going beyond our faith, and, and there comes a point in time. Uh, you know, you've seen, I've seen people that, you know, they've had so much pain in their life, they've uh, been dealt so many things that uh, they come to a point where uh, they just throw up their hands and mm -hmm. give up. They lose all faith. Well, that's where we need to pick up the Word of God and trust in God and, and say, you know, God, this is yours. Your Word says the battle's yours. It's not mine. Right. And, and too many times that we may quote that, but do we believe it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, God has been teaching me to believe it and to stand upon His Word. And yes, sometimes our faith uh, is small, but like you said, Sister Faye, how tiny that is. How mm -hmm. tiny that is. Just the be it's and just a beginning point. Look at the so that's, seed. That's not, that's not much to us, mm -hmm. to our carnal mind, when we're looking at that little seed. Mm -hmm. That's not much. But on the spiritual realm, right. 
it, it's mushrooms. so much more in mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that little mustard seed, you can put it between your finger and thumb and you can't feel it hardly. Mm -hmm. You can't see it much, but you know it's there. Mm -hmm. It's like a speck. Amen. As long yeah. as we know it's there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think, Sister Deborah, many times because our faith fails us, you know, Jesus prayed for Peter that his faith fell not. Mm -hmm. Okay. In other words, that the devil would not pluck his mustard seed right. of faith. Mm -hmm. But many times, our faith, I get back to faith when I talk about the mustard seed. Mm -hmm. well, it gets misplaced. Mm -hmm. We trust our mustard seed uh, with someone else. Oh, yes, yes. But I've got to trust my mustard seed mm -hmm. with God mm -hmm. because He's the only one that can make it grow, right. that can make it reproduce, that can watch over. That, that uh, mustard tree, seed tree, it said the fowls of the air could lodge in it. Mm -hmm. How many times, I told oh, you, and, whew, mm. how many times has the fowls of the air yes. lodged uh, yes. in our faith, mm -hmm. fear and doubt? Of, so sometimes we have to get rid of the fowls of the air Yes, mm -hmm. to uh, guard our mustard seed. Amen. Faith. And you know, and I, too many times I, I see, and I've been guilty of this in my younger years, where uh, you know we talk about you know the enemy stealing, you know our faith, stealing th that seed. Mm -hmm. But too many times we willingly relinquish our faith, and we just stop. We just we give it to the enemy, and, you know, we, and allow the enemy just just run rampant over our lives and over right. our, over our faith. And and you'll hear you'll hear the enemy say, "See, I told you, there's nothing to that." <laughs> mm -hmm. you, you ladies ever mm -hmm. experienced that oh, growing yes. up or anything? Yes. Uh, many times, many times. But that's where our faith steps mm -hmm. in, and, and, and takes authority over the enemy's voice. Because you know, I, I, I'm not going to listen to the enemy's voice any longer. Are you no, ladies? No. <laughs> I give him a hard time. I'm, I'm expecting, you know, in the last days, you know, I, I, I've been seeing God manifest His glory uh, in, in ways that I, I never thought I would see. Uh, but, you know, I, uh, when I pray to see the glory of God, when I pray that He manifests His glory, I'm willing to expect, I, I ex fully expect, mm -hmm. not just, you know, in, in this studio, not just in our church, but in my everyday, in my home. Mm -hmm. You know, it's nothing for me to feel the presence of God. And I'll share this with you ladies. When I, uh, several months back when I began going through this, you know, health trial, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I did. I got, I got kind of got down. But, you know, I trusted in God. And, you know, there's a, there's a reasoning behind it. Right. And I, I've realized that, you know, I've grown deeper in my relationship with it. But, you know, I, I said, Lord, I said, you know, just you know, manifest your glory. Show me, Lord, that you know that uh, everything's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, but His Word says if we trust and believe, it's going to be trust okay. And so my carnal side, that was my carnal praying, I believe. <laughs> 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 but uh, but you know, I had uh, laid down for a moment, and uh, you know how sometimes when you've got your eyes closed, when a light's flipped on, you can still sense the light's on or anything. Uh, now many may not believe in this. But uh, this is what I experienced, and I stand up on it. Uh, I, it felt like a light came on, opened my eyes, and I, and I just saw this like this glowless light. It, it was hovering there over my bed, mm. and uh, I opened my eyes and I shook my head to make sure, you know. And uh, and I, the it, the light went down the hallway into the living room, and when I got into the living room, it stopped, and it's just like a burst mm -hmm. of light. And when that burst of light happened, I just fell to my knees. Mm. I knew that it was the Lord. Good I knew God. it. Mm. And I felt a, a fire, just a warmth go over me. I knew without a shadow of doubt oh, from that my. moment on yeah. that God had touched me, Pastor Gladys. Yes. I knew without Thank a shadow of doubt. Yes. Many Jesus. don't believe in those type of things. But oh, I hey, know it. When God's Word says that He can heal, and if we trust and obey Him, and we believe in His Word, He will perform. He's faithful to perform right. that which He has promised. Yes. Amen. Right. S Sister Deborah, talking about seeing that light and you know when you have to go under an MRI and I was facing uh, neck surgery and back surgery and I had to go the doctor wanted an updated MRI 
So I went in to have it, and the girl that happened to be doing the technician that day, she was what you call a floater. The main one wasn't there, so mm -hmm. she came in her place. And we were talking, and when she said, now, if, if, you, if you need to, you can tell me and I'll stop. I said, no. I said, uh, I pray for people when I'm in this big machine. <laughs> And I said, I'm a minister, so I, I pray. And so then she shared with me her uh, prayer request. But when I told her about my neck and the surgery, while she told me afterwards when I came out, she said, you know, she said something happened. And she said, while I was doing your MRI, she said, I saw this white light, light, come down and went down over your oh, head, God. over your neck, over your back. Mm -hmm. She said, I believe you're going to get a good report. Amen. Mm -hmm. So when I went upstairs Praise and talked God. with the doc or the doctor come in, and I kid you not, he was kind of pulling on his ear here. <laughs> and he says, well, you know, your neck and the vertebrae in that has decided to do something. And he said, I don't know what's taken place, but something has. He said, you you are down to a point one, and there's no need for surgery. Amen. Amen. God. Praise God. God. But I had faith in God. I know, down through the years, I know what God can do. Yes. I know that it takes just a tiny bit of faith. If you just have a little bit of faith, and then God's going to take over because he likes to know Praise that God. you know that you know Amen. what he's going to do, and what he can do, and what he, he will when do. When he does those things, it causes that tiny seed of faith to yes. grow and to mature. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Faith Amen. does not grow in good times. No. And exactly. That, See, mm -hmm. that's good. It took you going through that mm -hmm. for faith to grow. Mm -hmm. So if we will let it, your trial will cause your faith to grow. Mm -hmm. Amen. I know when we were in Israel last year, we had went into this place of business and uh, I fell. Okay. I got up and I was fine. But the next thing that happened, I was coming to. I had passed out. They all thought I was dead. My I grace. mean, they thought I was graveyard dead mm -hmm. in Israel. But you know what? There the Muslims were. There the Jews were, rabbis, whoever. But the group I was with, my sister, Brother Ron Adams, different ones, they were calling on Jesus. Amen. Praise Jesus, God. Amen. Jesus. As I came back, I heard them calling my name. Mm. And Jesus, Jesus, Amen. Jesus. God did a miracle right there yes. Amen. in front of everyone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Of the power that is in the name of Jesus. Amen. I mean, faith. Mm. It, faith sometimes... You, e you either, listen, go into instant action. Mm -hmm. See, faith requires instant action. So uh, faith works. Amen. When the showdown comes, faith works. I, I have seen where the word is spoken over someone and immediate action takes place. Right. We put, uh, we put into force. It's just like, uh, say on the natural realm, when they, they give you a, a, a shot or something to bring your blood pressure or something like that down immediately. Th right. That's what our words, our faith can do when right. we speak it, when we call those things that be not as though they were. And uh, I remember my mother one time uh, on my right hand, uh, I had fell and it cut my thumb in half and it was like I was just bleeding profusely. And I remember hearing her quote that scripture, <clears throat> and I saw this, myself polluted in my own blood. Yea, live, mm. yea, live. Right. She Ezekiel. quoted that over and over and over. And uh, it was just, I mean, what seemed like seconds to me, mm -hmm. which, you know, it could have been. The, the bleeding immediately stopped. Those Amen. were faith spoken words. It was the, fa the seed of faith word. Amen? Right. Well, Amen. see. That's one of the gifts, yes. the word of faith. Yeah. So to me, the word of faith is when we speak that word and we don't see, hear, feel, or anything, but yet we speak that word. Mm -hmm. The word of 
faith. Mm -hmm. And God will honor it. Amen. That's all, always, all always. it takes is just that starting a little bit of faith, no larger than a mustard seed. And in and, and times, a lot of times, you know, you were saying that uh, it doesn't grow in the good times, on the mountain time. Mm -hmm. It grows through the hard times because the reason that is because what do we do when we're in hard times or uh, or bad times? We pray more. Yes, we, we do. study yeah. more. Mm -hmm. And we may even fast, you know. Right. Uh, but uh, uh, we've got to learn to stand up on that word. And we've got to, to know that when we plant, when that uh, seed of faith has been planted, the Word of God says everyone's been given their own measure of faith, right? Right. right. So uh, it's up to you and I whether our faith grows. We can't sit back and just wait on God. Well, God, I'm waiting on you, you to grow my faith. Well, sometimes we need to be careful what we pray. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> because, I mean, He will honor our prayers. That, that's true. And he will, uh, he gives us a choice. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, you know, there are times too that when you are needing healing and that, and you, you pray and you ask God, you believe it, but you ever hear this voice speak to you? You really believe God's going to mm -hmm. heal you. And I have to tell Satan many times, I know what my God can do. Mm -hmm. Right. So you get behind me, Satan. Mm -hmm. I'm not listening to that because greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. Amen. And God will, he'll come through. But he likes to know too. He likes to see our faith just start out and just the larger it gets, God, I, I believe he, he wants to know that we believe that he can do this. Yeah. He can well, do faith without yeah. works. It's yeah. dead. It's dead. Mm -hmm. So he said, show me your faith. Uh, and during one of our services at church, I was preaching, the Spirit was moving, and God said, show me your faith, and I'll show you what I can do. Wow. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, uh, in, in studying and stuff, uh, I had read that uh, the mustard seed, uh, it has to be well-rooted, planted deep. And it also, the root grows three times as faster mm -hmm. a, a, than, the, than the leaf does. So that shows me when we're rooted, I mean, mm -hmm. really deeply rooted right. in, in, in our faith, that uh, it will take root and nothing can hinder our, our faith. Too many times we see, even people in the church sometimes will kind of try to knock your faith down a little bit. You know, when you uh, you declare that, you know, you're healed and I know God's going to do this. Mm -hmm. and, they'll, and they'll say, well, if it be God's will <laughs> if, <laughs> and stuff. Well, it's already in God's, God's right. will, amen. <laughs> but, you know, I, you know everything uh, that I, um, when I try to teach something, or when I do something, I always have a word, I have a word to back it up. Right. Because there are people out there, there's the enemy out there, and even within the church, uh, people that aren't well rooted, they they don't quite understand, and uh, and they will speak a negative word, and so I have to stop people sometimes. Not you know, I can't have that negative around me. Right. Uh, you know, right. my faith is rooted, <laughs> mm -hmm. and it, you know, and when I when I read that, that the root uh, grows three times faster than the stalk itself. Isn't that something? That just amazed me. Mm -hmm. Talking mm -hmm. about how someone else can sort of sidetrack your faith. Uh -huh. Two weeks ago, uh, we were going to have a visit and minister at church. So before service, we were in my little office there at the church. And I reached out my hand I, to say, Raymond, let's, let's pray that, that uh, we'll have a supernatural service today. Mm -hmm. Well, he looks at me. He says, you've got a double chin. <laughs> Well, you know, I thought, well, so much for that. <laughs> you know, if you're not careful, then you'll go to a mirror to check uh -huh. it out. You'll start worrying about that. <laughs> it's about it. the things of God. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, maybe such Get supernaturally. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but approach, yes, those types of things do happen. They yes. do happen. Yes. I, I've seen it. You know, I want to read this little short story here that uh, I came across. It says, sweeping across Germany at the end of World War II, Allied forces searched farms and houses looking for snipers. At one abandoned house, almost a heap of rubble, searchers with, with flashlights found their way to the basement. There on the crumbling wall, a victim of the Holocaust had scratched a star of David and beneath it in rough lettering the message, 
I believe in the sun, even when it does not shine. I believe in love, even when it's not shown. I believe in God, even when he does not speak. Plant a seed, mm -hmm. must be growing. Plant, planting a seed, it must always be growing, amen? Mm. And I thought, how awesome. Yes, we got to believe in those things, even though we don't see them. You know, we're not, everything's not going to be just on mountaintop all the time. Right. You know? And that's where I uh, do most of my growing is in the valley. Mm -hmm. um, yes, it's good to be on the mountaintop. I love the supernatural experience, and I believe we're about to start seeing more and more yes, of that. Yes, we are. As the days go on, you know, it's been, and I believe the door to that has opened uh, more and more. But we must be careful at the same time to uh, let God have his way. Yes. Uh, and, and not to supersede what he has in store, what he wants to do. Amen? Amen. Well, the Bible said, let faith have her perfect work. work. So until faith is perfected, yes. uh, is completed. Amen. You know, we read where the uh, heroes of faith in Roman, uh, Hebrews chapter 11, it said, these all died in faith, not having mm -hmm. seen, not having mm -hmm. seen, but were persuaded of them. They refused to give up. Amen. Uh, you know, even, and it said they were sown in su a sun. In other words, they were split in half. Mm -hmm. uh, they wandered about in dens and mountains and caves, uh, clothed in sheepskin and goatskin. But they did not give up. Amen. And it said that uh, they believed, mm -hmm. and by faith they obtained a good report. Now, I thought, God, what was the good report to someone that had just been split wide open? Mm. Where was their good report? Mm. Or wandering around, you know, in sheepskin, goat skins. They obtained a good report. I believe that their good report is this, that, uh, that God helped everything in His hand. Mm. It was out of their hand. It was in the hand of God. And they knew that if they died in faith, that God would take their grain of, they became that grain of mustard Amen. seed. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's and uh, work with it even after they were gone because it went on to say that they without us would not be complete. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So they stayed faithful knowing that we would, would be the completion. Yes. Oh, that's Of awesome. their faith. That's awesome. That's, that's awesome. Good. Well, you know, you know, I think about how much would you and I, if we'd been Noah and the Lord told you be, to begin building an ark, would your faith weaken after you've been working on it well over a hundred years? Uh, well, your, my husband preached a message one time, the sound of a hammer, uh, where uh, he was talking about, he said, he said, I'm sure over all that time that Noah was working on, on that boat, that there were people laugh, passing by, laughing, making fun of him. But he kept his faith. He knew what yeah. God had told him to do. That's right. And he he believed that God would save anyone that was willing to accept. Right. But they weren't. Just him and his family was saved. But he continued to work well over over a hundred years. How much faith does it take to do that? Mm -hmm. His trust break. in the Lord was unmovable. Yes. Yes. Unmovable. You can't do anything with a person that's got faith. You, you can't do anything with them except let them grow in God and, and see the fruit of their faith. Amen. Amen. I believe that. It's hard for the devil to do anything with a faith person. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's why sometimes uh, uh, he'll go away for quite a, a season or two or something like that. I've had the enemy uh, try to attack me. And, you know, and I would just, you know, uh, my mom used to, she would do, I, I remember her doing this. She would just literally open the back door and make a kick and sweep and say, Devil, you get out of my house. Yes. <laughs> and I think of all, yes. you know, back then mm -hmm. I thought think when I was younger, I would laugh at stuff like that, but now. Oh, but it's real. It's real. Yes, yes. it is. Mm -hmm. It's very real. And just by the spoken word and the faith that we have right within us to speak that word, it can be done in an instant. Mm -hmm. And it will hit the target that we send it to. To me, there's five levels of the Word. There's the written Word, the spoken Word, the rhema Word, the uh, living Word, and the manifested Word. Mm -hmm. So that Word goes through 
cycles mm -hmm. as it begins to uh, mm -hmm. get ready to manifest. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And what if we stopped at a certain point at one of those and, and it wouldn't go any further? Mm -hmm. Right. But, uh, but as our faith grows, then we go to the next level and we go to the next level and the next level. And won't it be wonderful the day we get to walk through those pearly gates? That's Amen. true. Uh, and our faith, mm -hmm. I don't think, has all that to do with uh, what we call our righteousness. Right, right. Because Rahab, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, she was a, a lady. Harlot. They called her a harlot. Yeah, mm -hmm. harlot. And, uh, but she had faith. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't want to be misunderstood, but if I'm in a, a crisis mode, let me find someone that's got faith. Yes, faith. yes. They may not shout, they may not speak in tongues, they may not be all that, mm -hmm. but God have they got faith. Amen, mm -hmm. amen. You know? Mm -hmm. I would take that any time. Yes. Yes. Over, and, over any, anything. But do you have faith? Amen. You may be a great preacher and just do all this, you know, stuff. Well, you know. But do you have faith? I, can and, you can you pray for me? Yes. And 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 believe that the the you know, they're going to be the answer to their prayers and stand up on that. You know, when when someone prays, um, you know, when someone asks me to pray for them, you know, I, I, I pray for them. But but uh, first thing I ask, uh um I'll ask them, have you prayed yet? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I can tell by the answer whether, you know, uh, kind of where their faith is at. Right. So, you know, I began to, uh, what does the Word of God say, Lord, help my unbelief? Mm -hmm. yes. So, you know, I, I began to pray, you know, that their unbelief, because, you know, sometimes they'll say, I believe, but deep down, Lord, it, it's just like someone uh, praying, you know, God, please don't rain, let it rain today, but when they walk out the door, they carry their umbrella. Mm -hmm. Right. You know. How, how much faith have you got? Where's your faith? And we're just about out of time, but you know, I, I want you to know today, those that are watching, where is your faith? How is your faith? How strong is your faith? The faith of the mustard seed is all it takes, but we just don't want to leave it there. We want your faith to grow. We want your faith to reach, reach the destination that God intended it to be to affect those things in Jesus' name. So, my friends, thank you for tuning in today. Thank you, ladies, for tuning, staying with me and, and doing a program. Until next time, I want all of you to walk in faith and keep your love. Amen. Encounters is sponsored by Vessels of Honor Worldwide, AAA Enterprises, and The Viewers. to contact Encounters, email encounterswithgod at comcast.net or write to us at 117 Sunset Place, Portland, Tennessee 37148.